Hello friends, this is Rajesh Pillai with yet another episode on React Hooks and this time we will build a simple uh, star rating uh, component that you can see on the screen. So this time I am taking a different approach. I am not uh, coding and speaking at the same time. I have pre-built my code so that I can take you through the concepts and the explanations step by step. So before we kind of take a look into the star component, let's see the usage of the API first. So star rating component is uh, defined uh, uh, in here, which takes in a couple of props like count, size, value, active color, inactive color, and an on change handler. Now if you take a look at uh, the output in here, this is how the ratings are configured, right? So for example, the count is five. That means there are five stars rendered in here okay the size is 40 that means the width and height of this star is 40 pixels okay the default value of the rating is 3 so if you take a look at uh, the default uh, value which i am supplying in here okay you will see the value of the default uh, uh, rating is 3 okay now you can change the value or you can get this value from your database for simplicity's uh, sake, I kept the value as 3. Okay, and you can also uh, kind of take a look at uh, the active color, which is uh, greenish, and an inactive color, which is kind of gray. Okay, you can change these values, and uh, you can see the output getting uh, changed as well. For example, I could uh, come back to the application here, and maybe I'll uh, change the active color to say red. And you will see the selected stars become red in color. And similarly, you can also change uh, the inactive color to something else, right? Just for demonstration, let me change it to black. And you can see the inactive ones are displayed as black, right? For uh, the sake of simplicity of the UI, I'll keep it as uh, gray so that this indicates that these two stars are unselected. Okay, and uh, we also pass an on change uh, handler as well. Uh, so the star rating uh, component will call the on change handler whenever the rating changes. Okay, so the application can do anything at this point in time uh, based on the rating. It can store it into a database or it can uh, do some other activity with it. Okay, this is what a star rating component uh, looks like. Now let's take a look at how to uh, code this thing from uh, scratch. So I'll um, head over to my uh, code for the star rating component. So currently what we are doing is we are uh, grabbing in the uh, grabbing in the use state and the use state uh, effect from react uh, we don't need any other uh, hooks for this now in case you are uh, using the create uh, react application uh, template instead of uh, using it in this notation you can use import react and use state from the react package as well but for online code pen code pen or a js bin editor uh, you can use uh, the a variable notation for uh, grabbing the use state uh, from the react component now in this uh, demonstration in the react uh, hook uh, that you are seeing in the code pen i already have react uh, loaded up uh, here as part of the uh, javascript libraries so here you can see the react uh, development as well as the react uh, dom development is already uh, referenced okay i'll uh, share a link to this source code as well so that you can take a look at uh, how uh, this works in real time now, given the knowledge of uh, uh, how this star, com star rating component can be used, right? So we know that the star rating component has these props. So if you take a look at a function, uh, which is uh, uh, rightly named as star rating, you can see the props are kind of destructured, right? So we have the count, var uh, count variable, a uh, destructure from the props. We have the value. We have the inactive color, the default, which is set to a light gray, and a default size of 24, and an active color, Okay, and uh, uh, a default active color and the on change handler as well. Now the trick to create the stars, I'm using a short trick here. Short um, trick to create an array with specific length and with a default value. Now this specific uh, line of code will uh, create an array of length uh, based on count, right? So in this case, if you take a look at our uh, star rating uh, uh, component, the count is five. So here we are creating an array with Phi element and we are initializing uh, the value of uh, this arrays to a uh, 
star star character this is actually kind of a unicode character which is mostly supported now you can actually instead of using a unicode character you can modify this approach and uh, work with uh, images as well okay you can also see our uh, handle this is an internal handle change component this is an internal uh, function now the most important thing in this entire component is uh, the return part of this function so this is where the stars are rendered so now uh, to render this star what we have to simply do is to loop through the stars array now we know that the stars array is contain five element at this point in time but it can change depending on the count value that is being passed so we have to loop through the stars array and we are grabbing the individual star item as well as an index since we don't have any other identifier we are using index at this point in time and uh, we are uh, creating a variable to store the inactive color so by default the inactive color is set to a light gray okay or uh, the user of this application or component can also pass in the inactive color as well so we grab this uh, grab those values and what we do is as long as the index is less than the value right so for example in this case if you take a look at uh, the output on the right side so here uh, my total array length is 5 okay and the index starts from 0 1 2 3 and 4 so what we are doing is we are comparing whether the index is less than the value right so what is the value here the value of this component is 3 So now, if you take a look at our uh, configuration of the star component, you will see that the value that you are passing to this uh, star component is three. Okay, so maybe I'll uh, quickly head over to the default values of the star component. So this is where the rating is defined, which is actually three in our case, right? So we are simply checking in here that the index is less than the value. Okay, and three means it's it's actually three minus one, right? Because we are uh, kind of dealing with uh, zero base indexes, right? So we have to loop from uh, zero to two, and we have to set this specific style as selected. Okay, so this is uh, what is being happening in this uh, uh, code. So let's take a look at the code one more time. Okay, so we are looping through the array. so we are setting a default inactive color and if the index value is less than the value that we are passing in this case 3 so it means as so less than 3 right which should point to 2 that means three stars has to be highlighted we set the style to active color so whatever the active color was right so in this case the active color was red okay that we can see in here okay and um, then we uh, kind of uh, return a span for every element so this span is written for every element okay and within the within the span we assign a class name now this class name is not needed actually i won't be using the class name but more importantly what imp what is important here is in the style attribute so we are providing an inst inline style in here now you can abstract this and uh, put this into css as well right so we are kind of grabbing the style or uh, whatever styles we had okay setting the width and height to the parameter from the props that is being passed to this function and we also have a uh, on click handle as well right so this is an internal on click handle so when whenever these stars are clicked okay this on click will be called and accordingly uh, the values will be passed uh, from this star component to the parent component so if you take a look at uh, the on click handler okay the on click handler is simply kind of passing in the values to the parent right now here we are uh, incrementing by 1 because the array index starts from 0 right so array index is 0 starting from 0 so whatever stars you select suppose if i select uh, star 4 right so the index at this point will be 0 1 2 and 3 okay so what we do we do 3 plus 1 and 4 will be the rating that is being passed to the parent component okay so in a nutshell this is what a uh, simple star component in react uh, looks like so uh, feel uh, free to take a look at the code uh, change the code uh, change the styles of this uh, application as needed and do share your feedback uh, on the channel i hope uh, you like this short video and uh, please feel free to share your comments and uh, your thoughts as well as any new ideas for components if you have and i'll definitely consider that for my future episodes so thank you very much and have a safe and uh, nice day